And as we just get online with audio, Belmont Abbey scores the first, or Saints score the, no, Belmont Abbey scores the first goal. I don't know why they got a 1-0 for Saints on the scoreboard. Apologize for being late. We came straight from football, which finished less than an hour ago. And so we are up and running, and we had a problem with our score bar, so we got that fixed well enough to. Limestone sending it deep, and it's going to go out of bounds where it's throw for the Crusaders. I don't have lineups, so I can only tell you what's happening with most of the limestone players until I get one. Too far on that one for the Crusaders. Give that one to the Saints. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, they did fix the scoreboard at least. Yeah, turn the field mic down. Now it sounds. Oh, yeah, you're two. So Hunter, who normally runs our technical stuff, is the only other second chair. For us, we got Camille on one camera, so we don't have another camera operator yet. So that one's out of bounds. Be a throw for the Crusaders, just shy of midfield. Rough trip. First goal, by the way, was Mark Trumpeter with just 21 seconds gone in the game. Not a record, but 21 seconds. Pretty impressive. Header goes back. Javita's taken down. That'll be a free kick for the Saints, about 15 yards in. The offensive half of the field. Yeah, he's a senior from uh, Plano, Texas. He's homeschooled. Limestone just puts it into play. Ortega Lopez leaves it, pushed through by Burke. Ortega Lopez in traffic finds. Oh, what a, chip. Oh, what a nice little chip! And just gets out in front of Ortega Lopez. The, the feed was from. Pablo Berrigan, who's getting the start today. Freshman from Zaragoza, Spain. Lawler, unable to take it, but able to get it free. And now we've got a foul on the Saints. And a free kick just in the offensive half of the field. Or just in the defensive half of the field. At least that's where they took it. And a takeaway. Essentially two on two. Ah, nice little tackle there, number six. And they're going to give up. No, it's a throw. Great defensive effort. Throw deep on the sidelines and coming up. From behind is Nick, Nicholas Heinemeyer, the sophomore from Edwardsville, Illinois. By the way, I am the professor, Scott Berry. We got Hunter Burgess also on mic and on technical stuff, so he's responsible for replays. And then Camille on camera. And maybe we'll get another camera, maybe not. We got two set up. Wide angle's working good enough right now, so not too worried about it. Out of bounds. Saints send it back to Nacho Regatta. Scored the uh, overtime goal last time. We played at home to win the game. That's right. Game that one wouldn't have thought would have gone that long. Limestone coming in undefeated. 
There's the cross, header toward the goal. Ah, Tapaskovic got his feet tied up, and there's a pass into the middle and a shot and a save. Nice shot by Roberto Ortega Lopez as he was able to turn around and get a quick shot off. But a nice save by keeper Ben Neust, the freshman from Omaha, Nebraska. Good solid kick. Jamie Smith with the header forward. Burke right to Ortega Lopez, who once he gets settled, is pretty good at hanging on to the ball. Limestone retries the other direction. Belmont Abbey trying to push hard early here. Make things hard for the Saints. And there's a takeaway there. And there's a feed, but that is not going to be taken away by Belmont Abbey. Or now they get it back. Goes for a through ball. Regatta sends it the other way. And Belmont Abbey really being aggressive against the Saints, trying to take advantage. Yeah, they're looking for that 2 0 lead. Help them out. Send it back to the middle of the field. I believe that's Linskog. I haven't yet figured out the front side numbers for some of these guys there. Have contrasting edges, but not contrasting colors. Yeah. Which um, I think violates the spirit of regulations, even if it doesn't violate the actual regulations. Jamie Smith sending it. Now, interesting, Smith is kind of swapped with Regatta. Feed through to the outside. Tapaskovic comes up to force the throw from the side, and Limestone able to pack things in offensively. They don't mind situations like this. Tapaskovic has it taken away, but then Ortega Lopez. Ends up with it. Back to Smith. Diagonal. Oh, I think he was trying to get um, Tristan Deloff with a lead, but way too much lead on that one. Is that Tristan? Oh, yeah, he was trying to get Tristan. Yeah, he was trying to go there on the far side. So goal kick for Noost. Now number 14, has he started this season? Because I don't think I've seen him. No, he played um, second half of the last game okay. pretty significantly. Takeaway. Mark Trompet. And Smith with a takeaway. Ortega Lopez back to Jamie Smith. Forward to Berrigan. And out of bounds for a throw right here in front of the war wagon. As we call the contraption we live in for these games. Essentially a two-story trailer. Oh yeah, they did that fairly quickly. It says we have, uh, yeah, we're looking good. Smith just sends it on goal. No one there pushed up to really. Yeah, gave him no option. Yeah. Saints with three shots, just one for the Crusaders. Good kick. Way back. Foul from behind coming over the back for number 17, Harrison Clark, sophomore from Raleigh, North Carolina. And Limestone just content to put it into play. Burke feeding for Deloff ends up missing, but Limestone picks it up with Dom on the side. Boland to Deloff to Lawler. Foul on the Saints. A little bit too much hanging on. 
And we got a player down on the field. That is. Uh, is that 10? Yep. Geiner Duke, senior from. We'll go with that. Dos Cabrales, Colombia. That's, that's pretty hard to pronounce. I wasn't even going to attempt. I was going to let you have that one. I'll at least attempt. Whether I'm right or not, that's a different issue, but. Number 10 coming to the sidelines and number 21. Or Fernando Morales. They should have sent somebody in. I, I missed who it was. Yeah, 21. I believe so. Nando Morales. No, he was one of the starters. So. Was he? And Limestone can't quite get up with it. And it's a corner for the Saints, last touched by Belmont Abbey. And that will send Adrian Lawler over. There's a corner. Okay. I can't. Got to watch it from a little screen here. <laughs> yeah, you're you're behind the table. You yeah. can't really see it from this angle. I'm leaning over the edge. It's fine. Yeah, I can. Of course, the uh, metal pillar is blocking the corner perfectly from the camera angle. No, well, we can fix that if we. Oh, oh, header goes a little high from Nacho Regatta. But a good chance for the Saints now with four shots. Keep having as many shots. Eventually, you hope one will go in. Tapaskovic taps it out. Allows Limestone to press a little more. I'm still trying to figure out who can't do it for number 10. Good header. Lawler sends it the other direction, and this one's going to end up in the hands of the Crusaders. Deloff looks like he's worse for the wear on it, unfortunately for him, and hopefully it's not a serious injury. So clock has stopped, and we're calling in the... One thing I should note, um, as trainer Justin Cheeks for the Saints goes over to see D Tristan Deloff, is that they are going to have water breaks built into the game given what the temperature is on the field. Nice roll. Now, you know, after the death of a Maryland football player earlier this summer, um, how they're handling heat on fields and water breaks in games and things like that is being looked at. NCAA you know, is really pushing. Yeah, they're really w working on trying to eliminate the chance of people getting hurt from heat exhaustion and heat stroke. For example, the football game this afternoon, only one player had to be treated with IV fluids. Really? which is pretty good considering that it was significantly hotter then. Yeah, they had a recorded temperature of 104 down on the field. Down on the field surface. Yeah. So Delaf finally getting up. Maybe out for... He, he's going to be out for a moment. Yeah. So what, what he has to do is he has to go out and stay out until they start play again, and then he's allowed to re-enter. So effectively, Limestone starts down a man, but they are allowed to put him back in. So everyone got one of the water breaks, and that was a good point. Just over 11 minutes into this first half, Belmont Abbey with a quick scoring strike. Just 13 or 21 seconds into the game. Um, initial de deflection from back pass and beat back line alone. So the ball be put into play by the Crusaders on the free kick that was awarded.
So Limestone now bringing it up. Jamie Smith for the Saints. Sends it into the middle. It'll get picked up by Joe Burke. Burke's got Deloff and Dom Boland and sends it to Boland at the sideline. Trying to turn the corner, now decides to send it back to Nacho Regatta. And they're gonna let um, Mirko Ronke, Limestone's keeper, come out and just play that off his foot. Over to Jamie Smith. Smith, forward to Tupskovich. Back to Lawler, has to stretch for it. Sends it back to the goal. Ronke picks it up outside the box. They've done this a few times now, they kind of just send. Jamie Smith down the left side. Yeah, they're basically trying to find the right pass. Yeah. Lawler, back to Smith. And Burke miss took the motion he should have done. Now this one's gonna be tough. Boland on this side sends it out as was number five, I believe, for Belmont Abbey. Mark Trumpeter, the senior from Plano, Texas, making a run. Looks like coming down for the throw is 17, Harrison Clark, sophomore from Raleigh. I do have to say, what incredible speed by Bola to catch yes. the ball. Yes. I mean, he was almost at midfield. Hand up, hand up, hand up, hand up. Hand up, coach. There you go. Throw goes almost to the goal. And Jamie Smith with the initial header. Then Tapaskovic sends it to the outside. Bolin clears it up. Berrigan. Takes it back, then loses it as he falls down. And that's a foul on Limestone and a free kick from a fairly dangerous spot. And let's see who stands up to take this one. Number 21, Nando Morales, senior from Guerrero, Mexico. As well as number 10 lined up there. Kiner Duke, the one from Columbia, who we mentioned before. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be Duke. Nope, the other way. Regatta, first contact. And yes, number 10 did try and catch it because they'd already blown a foul. Free kick for the Saints. Yeah, normally Jamie's on the other side, but Limestone adjusting things. Tavaskovic back to Limestone doing a little better with possession. Now Dom going the other side trying to switch things over. And that one's going to be a throw for the Saints as it's at number 12, Linskog, freshman from Sweden. Unable to get more than just incidental contact. And then here's a rejection trying to set it up. And Regatta can't get first contact, but gets part of second. And then they clear it to Jamie Smith, who sends it back to the box out of harm's way. Yeah, they're going to try and bring it up with Jamie because he's got pretty good placement. And if they don't press him, he'll take it up like this, taken down from behind as Duke ties up in the legs, not going after the ball, and it'll be a free kick for the Saints. And they will probably just put it into play, as they do. Lawler in the middle. Back to Smith. Now Smith a chance to move up a little bit. And that one was off. And a great step up for Nacho Regatta out to the side to Tristan Deloff. Taloff makes the corner, gets the feed in, but nobody home. Uh -oh. clear. And another foul on Belmont Abbey. On Belmont Abbey. Okay. Limestone number, uh, with a free kick, and like I said, they'll probably just put it into play. Morales, number 21. Burke in traffic sends a shot just wide shots now five to one in favor of the saints 
I'm still really picking up on the offensive side since that first goal. Belmont Ivy hasn't had a shot since that first goal. Well, I remember the last game they ended up spending a whole lot of time doing nothing. Yeah. And finally, with a scoreless tie into the last overtime period. Off the shoulder of Lawler. Nice pass forward, but nobody home for the Crusaders. And Rocky will take it, roll it to Smith, near side. This one's for Tapaskovic. Well, they got it loose. Come on, Abby comes up with it. That should have been offsides, but it is not. And Smith doesn't get any defense on it, but Ronke with a great save. Tapaskovic to Burke. Burke, a little trouble settling it, and the double, no. Well, might have be not happy with that call. But free kick for the Saints. They'll just put it into play. Number uh, 19, George Espina. George Espina? He's the one who came in then. And that one will be a foul against the Saints for contact in the air. Shots are five to two. Shots on goal are three to two. Far. And it bounces right back, and Limestone's going to get a bear again, tips it to Tapaskovic, a little bit off on the pass. Boland trying to feed to Deloff, but Deloff is going to get to it first. Taking it forward, he's got speed, uses a bounce off the body, and fortunately for Belmont Abbey, no call on that collision. Limestone with a throw, far side. Going to make him re-throw it? I don't know. Oh, no, he got an injury. The loss again. Holding his leg. It's cramped. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what it looks like. So they send it back. Regatta, now Smith. Trying to send it through and they don't connect. Uh, Out of bounds off of Dom Boland and Boland just rolls off after the collision. So, throw for 17, Harrison Clark. They bring him up. He's able to get it almost to the goal. Headed out. That should be a corner. Or they say it's goal kick. 
So it must have been one of the Belmont Abbey Crusaders who connected with it, or at least bounced off of them on the way out. Yeah, number, uh, let's see. He's all the way across the field. Very, very hard to see. Oh, yeah, it's really hard to pick up the numbers for the Crusaders with the, just the outline. Looks like uh, number 12 is the one who headed it out. That is uh, Give and go. Linskog. Makes the roof of the. <laughs> and the women's coach sitting over there in chairs with, I think it's his wife. Bringing the ball down to the minder at the sidelines. Sam Holmes with the retrieval. Berrigan and uh, DeLoff coming out. Both of them came out. Who came in? That's a good question. Crosskery and Javed. Javed. Ah. Somebody else. Tepeskovich came out and Bartman came in. Did he? Yeah. So Limestone doing something that we've seen them do before, and that is not put in starters at the normally who have been starters at the beginning and then changing to get fresh legs. And they've it's right at the halfway point through the first half. Berg with a feed for Javed. Javed gets the header in the middle, but then it's rejected. Oh, Heinemeyer with the takeaway. Smith in the middle. Coach Eric Alsop wants him to move it. Now Cross Green has it taken away. Now Bowen's on this left side though. Yeah, I know he's been here. They, this is kind of reverse from what we normally see. I know. And I think we've got water break water. time. So let's take a quick look at stats while we're at it. Ortega Lopez with two shots for the Saints, both on goal to lead the Saints. Nobody with more than one shot each, but it was um, number five. With the goal, trumpeter, senior from Plano, Texas, was able to get the goal. It's a 21-second mark, so in the first minute. Yeah, we were, we were a little busy. Yeah, trying to get things going. We, we had a missing score bar that wasn't working. Software program did something funny, so we had to build one. Fortunately, we had one half built. And guess what? It's working fine. Oh, the other one now? No, this one's working like a charm. Oh, the new, the one I built. Oh, yeah. yeah, it just looks different. So shots now five to three. Saints trailing early. They gave up a goal with just 21 seconds in. Yeah, it's one goal, though, with still 21 minutes, over 21 minutes remaining. Just in the first half, yeah. yeah. Then we have a whole another 45 minutes, so shouldn't worry us too bad. So a throw for the Crusaders to start things back off. So he's going to take it away. Lawler sends it a little too far. It's going to go out of bounds. Another throw just about where it was before. <laughs> Nice steal by Heinemeyer. Can he get to it? Before it goes out, he does. Tibet has it taken away and then sent too far the other way. Ronke will come 
to the top of the box, pick this one up. Regatta back to Smith. Crosskery back to Bartman. Lawler, Ortega Lopez. Lawler trying to do it off the side of his foot and doesn't work. And then double team takeaway. Cross green. Somehow they wanted to handball. They didn't get it. Bartman. Lawler. Dangerous spot. Then to Bartman. And Bartman can't connect. Limestone with the right idea there. But just couldn't execute. Good attack. He just passed it a little bit too early. Trying to get some of the noise off of our headsets. Yeah. Into the middle. Cross Green had a chance, but then ran into Bartman. And Smith hurries it up to the box. He'll get it back on the roll. Gave Bartman a little more room this time. Trying the other side. Heinemeyer can't send it back. There was a handball. That time it got called. Uh -oh. Free kick for the Saints. They just put it into play. Regatta sends it this way to Jamie Smith. Floated forward for Bartman. Bartman trying to go around and then causes the foul and a free kick deep for the Crusaders. Keeper Ben Neust, freshman from Omaha, Nebraska. With the free kick after the limestone foul. Lawler, the floating this one out for Javed on the far side. Dan's got speed and a nice tackle out of bounds defensively. It's should be 12, Linskog. I think so. It's so hard to see. You know, well, I kind of remember it from the hair. <laughs> Things like that, body shape, whatnot. <laughs> we need some binoculars up here. Uh -oh. Giveaway in a bad spot. Cross Creek gets a tip on it and just missed on the shot. And they're getting the corner out of it. Oh, they are. So a touch on the way in. And Bartman will go over for that, I think. So Limestone with the corner. Second of the game for them. But this time Bartman's in, so he'll take it. Shot's now 6-3 to three in favor of the Saints. Header takes it out, or take it Lopez with a settle. Puts it in the middle, and they get the header over the crossbar. So two cracks at it. Two substitutions, both for Belmont Abbey. Number 20, Casey Coughlin. Coming in, and number 16, Ryan McNeil. Coughlin, a freshman from Clayton, North Carolina. McNeil, a junior from Atlanta, Georgia. Has 4 and 10. Hunter Gregory. Hunter Gregory and Geiner Duke. That's pretty close. Hunter Come Gregory out. From Charlotte. Goal kick. Good header. Heinemeyer. Sends it back to 
Karanke, who sends it way up the field. Uh, Ortega Lopez oh. in traffic. Bartman feed forward and cross Curry either came up lame or just wasn't thinking that was where the ball was going. Yeah, I don't think he was going straight past him. Forces the pickup. Jamie Smith got ahead on it, but didn't go the direction he wanted. Oh. Joe Burt. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic kick, just kind of lifting the foot out. Yeah. They're having trouble making it go forward. Now they lift it too far, and this one's going to be right out of the air to Mirko Ronke, Limestone's keeper. Didn't even have to move. From... Coronado, Italy. Casey, stay! Casey, stay! Ortega Lopez, they've given him some space. Outside to Heinemeyer. Floated through for Ortega Lopez on the run. That no one's going to get to it. And the goal kick. Another substitution for Belmont Abbey, number seven. Philip Mallett, Jr. from Jackson, Mississippi, going in for number six. Gianni Serio, Jr. from Pembroke Pines, Florida. Header went the wrong way. And st referee stops to talk to the offender, which is number 18, Mikey Puskar, freshman from Concord, North Carolina. Bartman with a steal in the middle to Lawler. Outside. Him and Lawler had a little scuffle at first. Well, now they've put Dom back on the other side and Heinemeyer on this side. Yeah, they have. <coughs> Apologize. Going to have to get some more liquid at halftime. Yeah. <coughs> No, I'm not going to get one in that situation. And Foul on Limestone. Back about 20 yards shy of the midfield. His own cross -tree. Gonna head her out. Is anyone gonna be able to beat it? Yeah. Cross Cree backs it up to Boland. Ortega Lopez able to get a foot on it and control it. Near side, Heinemeyer. Back to Smith. Just a, a light little dribble up midfield. Burke in midfield sends it wide to Dom Boland. Boland, take away. Back to Burke. Lawler in the middle. Belmont Abbey, they really spread out. Oh. Ronke comes away out of the box to send this forward to Jamie Smith. Floated into the corner, and this one's going to be a goal kick. No one can catch up with it. Another substitution for the Crusaders, number 11, James Delaney, senior from London, England, in for number 21, Nando Morales, the senior from Guerrero, Mexico. 
So Limestone did a bunch of subs right at midway point in the half. Belmont Abbey kind of now into a fairly continuous mode of substituting. Mikey Puskar still getting talked to by that referee right there before this kick. This one's going to be a foul against the Saints and a free kick near midfield. Limestone gave up the corner. I want to say who that is. Come on, come on, come on. Tommy, Adam, it's you. Jamie Smith sends it outside the box. Deep throw given up. And number 17. Clark up for the throw. He can get it almost to the corner of the goal box. Limestone about ready to make a substitution as well, but it won't happen now. Number 19, Josh Brannon, junior midfielder from Sunny Isles Beach, Florida. And Ronke saves it from being a goal kick. And a quick punt to clear. Lawler able to save it back to Regatta. Now Smith. Tega Lopez, he's got Bartman in front, but decides to send it near side to Heinemeyer. Through to Burke. Burke with a little space out wide to Crosscurry. Crosscurry backs it up to Don Bolin. Lawler held. That's a free kick for the Saints. And now we're starting to get a little bit closer on the free kick. Lawler trying to get the <clears throat> one player playing close to back up. He's about eight, nine yards instead of ten. Headed out. Ortega Lopez sends it in close. They're giving goal kick on it. So that allows Brandon to come in as well as number nine for the Crusaders, Manor Figueroa, sophomore from Charlotte. Coming in as number 18 for the Crusaders comes out. Puskar and Lawler gets the rest. As Brandon comes in. <clears throat> they move Dom into the midfield and Brandon in the wing where Dom was on the far side. Everyone misses first contact. Heinemeyer sends it through. And this one's out with a limestone throw in front of the Crusader bench. Heinemeyer looking, trying to find Javed, who nicely tips it to himself in the corner. And then the overplay allows him to get the cross, and nobody home. Crosskery was in the wrong position. It would have had to have gone through a defender to get to it. Shots now 7-5 to five as we are nearing the 6.5 minute mark in first half. Limestone's looked impressive on offense. It's just that they have not made the connection. Yeah, I mean, just you know, every just every play something's been a little off. You know, balls in front of a player or out of bounds. Too far ahead. Heinemeyer with a quick throw, <laughs> trying to get it, Javed, but it bounces back to Bartman. Bartman sends it back. Ooh, dangerous! As Jamie Smith fans on it, but that's all right. 
Brandon will send it back into Ronke. And the switch sides. Now they've got Regatta in his normal side on this side. Bartman backs it up to Heinemeyer. Back to Bartman. That's a good push. Ortega Lopez backs up. Bolin now on this side. Oh, that's right. He's playing midfield now. Back to Regatta. Now up to Dom. Push through to Bartman. Push back for Crosskree. Crosskree loses it. And then they send it back to the goal. Oh, that's trying to get it out of harm's way in a hurry. Smith playing way up. Trying to take this away. Brandon steps forward and gets to it. Back to Smith. Outside. Boland in a double team. Has to back it up to Brandon. And it just has it taken right away. They get it offensively, and then they have to wait for their offense to come forward. And Smith takes it out. Player slow to get up for the Crusaders, but he does get up. Rocky sends it to Nacho Regatta. Through to Burke. Burke taken down, gets the free kick. Going to leave it for Boland, and Boland just sends it forward to Crosskery. They were expecting it. No, that's why Limestone often will do that. Regatta able to step forward. Now floating it up for Heinemeyer. And Heinemeyer tries for, i thinking that was a shot, but it just didn't get enough of the ball. I think he was trying to cross them to the inside of the box. Well, that could be too, but because Javet was there. Yeah. Goal kick for Neust. Boland got his foot tied up into it. Heinemeyer with the tackle out of bounds. They're going to leave it for number 17, Harrison Clark, with that big throw. Just over three minutes remaining in the first. By the time the throw's done, we'll be under three. Sander, get Sander near post. James, get Sander near post. Sander! And there was a foot in the face there. Free kick for the Saints on the foul for Belmont Abbey. Ronke will take it in goal. Sends it up to Boland. Also might make a final push here with... Just two and a half minutes left. Take a Lopez, quick turn. Bartman sends it through, but no one's there. <laughs> and I'm not quite sure why that was the kick, because it just means a goal kick. And the Saints will just feed it over to Regatta. Down to a minute and a half. Far side. Misplayed. Looking for Brandon. Got a run on the far side. Good speed. And just a bad pass there, but then Limestone doesn't get rid of it. And Regatta just walks around a falling offensive player and now clears it out 
as we're nearing the one minute mark. Throw for the Saints at the sidelines. Leave it for Brandon. Burke, wide open. Tackled out of bounds. Clock still running. So it must be a throw for Crusaders or a free kick. Throw. Down to 25 seconds. But Abbey just eating time here. Not wanting Limestone to get anything going. And Bolin gets a kickoff and it goes over the screening, but Saints still trail 1 0. As we go into halftime, final look at statistics eight shots for the Saints, five for Belmont Abbey, each three on goal. Corners, limestone with a pair, one for the Abbey. Fouls 11 to 8, Abbey with three more. Abbey was off one side, limestone not at all. <laughs> 